Hi, welcome back to Debt Free Spending. We're here for our second couponing lesson today. Hopefully you already got to see the basics on couponing, but today we're gonna get in even a little deeper into how to use our store coupons, manufacturer's coupons, and our store cards, and our cashback bucks and register rewards. There's three main stores that we're gonna talk about first, and those are CVS uh, and Rite Aid, and we also do wanna talk about Walgreens. For CVS, you have to have your extra care card, and for Rite Aid, you have to have your up rewards card, or your wellness card, they call it. But for Walgreens, you do not have to have any kind of store card to do their register rewards. Each store has a program where you either scan your card, or you buy a certain item, and you get cash back for it. But for these two stores, you will need your card. Now, once you have gotten your card at your store and you go in, you're going to make a purchase and when you do that, if you have a store card, you'll have to give them the card first where they'll, where they'll scan it. And then they'll scan your products and all the manufacturers or store coupons that you have. And then at the end of that transaction, after you've paid, you will get back on some of these deals that are usually listed on the blog, cash back from CVS, which is called an ECB or an extra care buck. That's CVS's version. From Walgreens, you're going to get a register reward which prints out long and flat like this. And at right age, you're going to get an up reward, which I don't have an exact copy of it, but it's at the end, the bottom of your receipt that prints out at right age. And these can all be used like cash in the store. Now, the next thing you need to know is that each store has a different coupon policy, and you can usually print those off at the company website. Here is the right age coupon policy. I will try to have these up somewhere on the blog for you so that you know, or if you're not sure, just ask when you go in. In our area, for example, uh, Giant does not accept printable coupons. They only accept manufacturer's coupons, but all of our other stores do. But you have to always be careful with the store's coupon policy because each store is different. So for example, at CVS, you can use your extra care bucks or your ECBs on things, anything in the store except for prescriptions and gift cards. You can, can use them at CVS on milk, at least in our CVS, you can use them on milk. However, at Walgreens in our area, you can't use your register rewards on milk, you can't use it on prescriptions, and you can't use it on gift cards. And the other thing you need to know about Walgreens register rewards is that if you get $2 back from Banana Boat, then you cannot roll that into another transaction for a Banana Boat. These have to be used for a separate company. And the other thing about Walgreens in our area is that you have to have as many coupons as you have items. So a lot of times at my CVS or at my Walgreens, I have to get a piece of candy or something very cheap if I have more coupons than I have items. This can be a pain. However, once you become an avid couponer and you've done it long enough and you're more of an expert, this will not be a problem for you. But to start, probably the easiest programs to do are CVS's extra care bucks or the Rite Aid Up Rewards with their wellness program. The other thing that you need to know is that Rite Aid, also in their ad, you'll see things for single check rebates or SCRs. Single check rebates are in addition to your Up Rewards. So for example, you can go into the store, buy something and come home, and if it's a single check rebate, you have to go manually on the computer and actually take a code from your receipt, type it in, and you'll receive a check for that in a few weeks. So what you need to know if you're starting out is that the easiest things to do, again, are the up rewards from Rite Aid that print at the bottom of your receipt or your ECBs, which are both used like cash in the store. So for right now, Walgreens might be a little bit more complicated and Rite Aid single check rebates might be complicated. The other thing that you might wanna know is that you can get coupons by going to Rite Aid um, video values and watching videos to get printable coupons. But you gotta be careful to make sure they're not a manufacturer's coupon. And that's what we're gonna talk about next. The difference between a manufacturer printable coupon and a web coupon. This is an example from Target, and this is an example from coupons.com. If you go to coupons.com and you print something off, it says at the top in black, manufacturer's coupon. This is something that you cannot uh, duplicate, you can't use more than one. So for example, it says Dean's dips $1 off any two. That's the only, um, that I have to follow those rules and I can use this with a, a store coupon if they have one, but if they don't, I can only use one manufacturer's coupon. 
Now the next thing that we're going to talk about is the Target web coupon or store coupons. You always have to make sure that they do not say manufacturer's coupon. So had this said Dean's Dip Printable and it was a web coupon, I could use it with the manufacturer's coupon for something we call stacking or using more than one coupon at a time for one item. Now sometimes at CVS you can use your electronic cashback things, coup uh, electric, uh, sorry, extra care bucks, ECVs, and you can use it with the manufacturer's coupon and you can use it with the extra care coupons that you get out of the kiosk. If you are not sure about how to use the kiosk, then you might need to watch the video on the blog about how to use the coupon kiosk. So these are the different types of coupons that we'll be working with over the next couple videos. So please just take the time to get your register rewards cards if you need them. Learn about how to print off coupons online. Learn the difference between a web coupon and a manufacturer's coupon and the company policies. And then check back for our next video on how to roll these coupons into your next deal.